Hey everybody, Jason C. on location at Supernatural, sitting here with Jensen Ackles. How you doing, man? Good. Nice good. To see you. Uh, it's good to see you. It's kind of like a little scary place, but hey, let's talk. Yeah, yeah. No, we, we don't just uh, we don't just create scary places. We actually seek them out and find them. Visit and, them. And yeah. Them. Yeah. 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 Hospital here. It's uh, was once used, well, it still is used as a uh, uh, a I guess a mental mental illness institution. And, uh huh. The section the behind us here is, uh, has been closed down for a long time, but it, uh, I guess it used to be where they would do the uh, electroshock therapy stuff. So Whoa. I'm sure there's <laughs> some uh, very interesting stories that went on inside. I've heard some. I've heard some. Yeah, like so It's always nice to film in uh, you know, places like that. People disappearing and stuff like that. All right, all right. Well, as long as you guys get good footage. Let's get into... Season four, Dean in hell, and he digs himself out. Yeah, he manages to find himself, uh, find himself a way out of uh, out of the pine box, out of uh -huh. hell, out of uh -huh. the out of the deep. So, uh, which is a good thing because otherwise I'd probably be uh, back in L.A. looking for a job. <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's it's the reasoning and it's it's kind of how he got pulled out that, uh -huh. uh, that kind of launches us into season four, and um, really kind of takes takes a, it doesn't really turn onto a new road, but it's it's definitely uh, um, a twist to kind of the overall story arc of the, of the, of the show, right. which is, I think is a good thing because it's always it's always kind of been building about the, the mythology behind uh, Sam Winchester and, and how he's connected to, you know, certain aspects of, uh, of, of that of that other world. And right. um, now it's uh, it, it, it somehow finds a way to tie Dean into it all, which, yeah. is, which is nice because it kind of gives the character a different uh, validity as far as the, the, the show goes, as, uh -huh. as far as the story goes. Right. So, right. Um, you know, with that in mind and also introducing some new characters, it's, uh, I mean, for, for what it's worth, I think that this is, uh, this could be the best season so far. All right. All right. I'm excited. Yeah. So, yeah. It gives him sort of a little bit of the evilness that we think that. Sam might have yet we don't know and now Dean's been in the yeah I mean he's, place, so. he's been you know kind of fighting his inner demons uh, so to speak for uh, you know for the last several seasons and it's it's uh, the season kind of is a lot of those stories that have been building over the past couple of years are all of the all of the um, the buildup is starting to come to a head in this yeah. season yeah. so it's all gonna start to surface we're gonna start seeing you know reasons behind unexplained situations and uh, we a lot of a lot of questions get answered which which I'm a fan of because uh, you know that's that's one of the reasons uh, I love Eric Kripke's writing so much is because he doesn't he doesn't just you know drag you out and mm -hmm. drag mm -hmm. questions out for right. you know over seasons and seasons. He uh, he, he answers like, them he, along the way. He likes right? to give you yeah he likes to give the audience a payoff and uh, I think that this season is going to be probably one of the biggest payoff seasons we've had if right. not the biggest. Yeah. Dean's character cracks me up and I just I want to know what's the first thing he does after he digs himself out of that grave. <laughs> uh, well, he, he tries to acclimate himself and orient himself because uh -huh. he's he's not quite sure uh, what happened, where he is, what he's doing. But uh, so I'm thinking like, where's my car? Where you know? Yeah, well, he finds a gas station, and starts getting some uh, some necessities. One of them obviously being a uh, porno magazine. So he's, he's <laughs> so definitely definitely for. back to his old antics. <laughs> right away, right, right out of, right, right out of the right grave. Right out of the gate, yeah. <laughs> All right. So did Sam mess with the Impala while while um? While Dean was gone, you know what he did. He yeah. did a little bit. It doesn't yeah. look like it here, and he hasn't done anything, you know, necessary aesthetically to it. But uh -huh. uh, he, he made a few kind of uh, technological upgrades that Dean uh -oh. was uh, Dean was a little miffed about. So, uh, but but you'll see all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's nothing, cool. nothing that can't be fixed. All right, all right, that's good. Now the big mystery is going to be how did Dean get out? I mean, what would be some viable options? Um. Well, that's, I mean, that is kind of, I don't want to ruin it, that, but that is kind of uh, what, what the, uh, the buildup of the, of, of the first episode is and also what kind of uh, follows that. It kind uh -huh. of launches into a whole different world uh, of, of why and how he got, uh, he got yanked out. Um, but it's, you know, now that he's out, it's uh, a lot of demons yeah. are, are upset. They're, they're mm -hmm. like, you know, why you? What well, makes I, you so special? Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh, you made the deal, never which, got out of it. Exactly, which, you know, gets into why why he was pulled out, which, you know, is ultimately kind of the storyline that we'll be dealing with over the arc of the season. 